I haven't bitten into an apple since I was 12. Wow. And you don't, you learn not to miss it. Right. Because you don't do it. And then after that, the very first thing I want to do is go bite an apple. And it's like so goofy. You know, you're like, I just, that's what I, I want to be normal. So your whole life you grow up and, and you get teased and, you know, you learn to get behind this curtain. And, you know, in high school and in college and work life and personal life and play, sports, whatever it is, you hold, you are always holding yourself, you're all back, you're always guarded. And, you know, after this procedure, it's like, it's like, I, Within a week, I, I was like 150 pounds lighter. You know, I, I didn't have that holding me down and, right. and always worried about opening my mouth and, and talking and speaking with my mouth as closed as possible and, right. and eating in front of people. I mean, that was always embarrassing and, and you're always nervous. So I, I expect, I fully expect, you know, the nightmares of, you know, speaking or reading and your teeth breaking to go away so now that you know that everything's right everything's right in the world the psychological part is it's just unbelievable I, you know i come out of it and I've, I've been a week now and you know i still wake up every morning and i'm like i can't believe that that all that's behind me you know that it's like i don't have to have those nightmares i don't have to i don't have to be afraid anymore you know and there's no other words for it. I'm 51. I'm six foot three, 260 pounds. There's nothing that f I'm afraid of, but having bad teeth, yeah. and and holding back from being me. So I, I'm not going to hold back anymore. I'm, I'm going to be me. While it feels like a physical fix, there's so much more to it, and and it's worth it's worth every dime. And you know, I I look at it and and say, you know, to get those chains off, to get, to open up and and get all those freedoms that I never had before, well worth it. Don't wait, don't wait. I'm 50, I just said that earlier, 51 years old. I, I could have been happy for 25 years. You know, that incremental fix, some people have to do that, but if you didn't have to do that, you can, you can go from, you know, crawling to flying like that. And, and it does it. It's like now I'm reflecting on all those things that have changed so quickly, yeah. and and I think that's why it's it just hits your heart so much. It's like wow, I didn't I didn't realize, you know, you, you took the tree down in one swing, you know, where everybody else is just chipping away at it. And finally, it's not a big problem. And now now it's there's just so much more to. I, I wish I could I wish I could talk to the people that that go into it and need yeah. need the fixing, yep. you know, and, and not everybody has it, you know, the impact of embarrassment and everything else like I, like I had it. Yeah. Um, but for those few that, that do go through that, you know, I, I would, I would take any time, any day of the week and sit down and explain yeah. everything that happens because I, I promise you're going to wake up and you'll be a totally different person. Totally, this was inside, it was just behind bad teeth. I hope other people get to, to go through this and, and they can see this and see that don't look at it like it's a shiny new car. Right. Because that car's good for five or six years. And what you fixed with me and can fix is a lifetime. You got it. I just waited till I was 50. <laughs> I wish I had done it at 25. But.